X, Y, Z together starts a business. If X inverse three times as much as Y inverse and Y inverse two third of what Z inverse, then the ratio of capitals of X, Y, Z is. Okay, here um, X is linked to Y because X inverse three times as much as Y and Y is linked to Z. That is Y inverse two third of what Z inverse. Okay, so X is linked to Y and Y is linked to Z. See, the so final one is Z. We can assume uh, some value as inverse form for Z. Okay, here, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to assume that Z inverse K. Then, investment of Y will be 2 third of what Z inverse. That is 2 third of this uh, K because 2 third of uh, what uh, Z inverse. So, the investment of Y is 2 third of K. And now, I'm going to write the investment of X. So X inverse three times as much as uh, Y inverse. So three times the investment of Y, which is two third of K. So this three, three will cancel out. I get two K as investment for X. Okay, now I have the investments of all the three people, X, Y, and Z in terms of K. Now I have to find the ratio of the capitals. Okay, let's find the ratio of the capitals. That is X to Y to Z is equal to so the investment of X is 2K. Then the investment of Y is 2 third of K. The investment of Z is just K. Okay, here, uh, to get the ratio, uh, what I need is I have to get uh, each term as an integer. But here, we have a fraction in the middle term, 2 third. So to get rid of the denominator 3, I need to multiply all the terms of the ratio by 3. So I multiply the first term, 2K by 3, then 3 times 2k, I multiply the second term by 3, then 3 times 2 third of k, the third term by 3, that is 3k. So here 3, 3 will cancel out, I get 6k uh, to 2k to 3k. Okay, when I look at all the three terms, there is a common divisor k, so I can divide all the terms of this uh, ratio by k. So I divide the first term, second term and third term by k. So k, k will cancel out. So I get 6 to 2 to 3. So the ratio of capitals of X, Y, and Z is 6 to 2 to 3. So the correct answer choice is option D.